So, hey, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. And this video is about us having no time to work on the Land Rover. This video is about fixing our Challenger. And it might be interesting taking a transmission out of a American muscle car. And get your wife motivated to do that with you. Yes, and frustrated <laughs> too. Yes, exactly. Okay, and doing that service bulletin to solve the sticky gear problem. Yes, you didn't call it a sticky gear problem. It's a sticky gear problem, okay? Okay. So, enjoy the video. <laughs> enjoy the video. Okay, here's the problem. This is the input shaft of a Tremec 6060 transmission. And you can see that we got brown friction rust here on the spline of the clutch. This is a sign of the clutch plate gouging on that shaft. And that is causing an axial load on this shaft when uh, I actuate the clutch. And this is the reason why the gears are hung up. That's a bitch. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's true. And here is a little tighter than the other side. I had to wait for the camera and then you were making noise. Okay, here you go. It's the same picture like 10 minutes ago. Good. I got the exhaust off and my wife is all stressed. I'm not stressed. We're gonna get this off here. Okay, I got it. Now, it's this way it's sitting nicely. Yeah. So this is now the muffler all gone. We gotta take the drive shaft off and then we gotta take that transmission out. Okay, that loosens. And so I need the joint. So now there's no way back. So the rest I gotta do with a ratchet. So I need a, an extension, short one, 3 8 inch, and a socket in 15 millimeter. This short or shorter? Yeah, I'm aging. Yeah, I don't care. Look for all the extensions you can find. We're gonna need them all. A hasset. Yeah. A J hasset. Okay, we're gonna need more of those. Yeah, I need one more long one. This is the stupidest transmission repair we ever gonna do. Well, I think it's loose now. We got eight bolts out. We're gonna take the cross member out. And now the weight of the transmission is supported only by my jack here. Okay, so I made like a little adjustment bracket here. Ah, see? Wait. This is better. So you welded something? Yeah, I welded this. And I should be able to pry the transmission out. See here? Yeah, this is free up here. Now I gotta come around here. Holy cow. I, oh my. Yeah, I feel extremely stupid doing that. Gap up here, is that bigger or smaller? No, it's even. It's even? Yeah. Oh, how perfect. If it's even, it's gonna come forward. <gasps> oh my, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it's not stupid, it's dumb. 
Oh. Too much. Now it's probably hung up in the front somewhere. Yes. Yeah, that's where it's hung up. But that's the back. Yeah, now it's free here. This is one stupid idea. It's not coming, huh? How are we supposed to get that back on again? I don't know. This is asking to get hurt. And you're not in a gear. Huh? Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Did you see this? Yeah, I don't want to okay. see it. Okay. Now, I never did this in my life because it ain't no Land Rover. If it's gonna fall down, you're not gonna Can get a new that? one and you have to Can drive the Freelander. That? Watch it, you gotta film now. It looks completely this stupid. <laughs> is not entirely stupid, is yes, it? Yes, it is. Oh, it doesn't fit out. <laughs> yeah, how are we supposed to get that out? Shit, how are we gonna get this out now? And what are we gonna do with it? I don't know, I was just taking it out. My jack isn't low enough. No, it's gonna fall into the pit, Christian. Don't do that. So I have like a big engineering bummer in here. And you can see that we got brown friction rust here on the spline of the clutch. This is a sign of the clutch plate gouging on that shaft. And that is causing an axial load on this shaft when uh, I actuate the clutch and this is the reason why the gears are hung up. According to a service bulletin from 2010, most vehicles had that fixed under warranty except those vehicles which got for example later on exported and so on. They did not get this fix. So all I gotta do really is clean this and put lubrication on and this baby is ready to go back in. I'm not gonna replace the clutch, I know everybody is going to say, well, you ought to replace that clutch when you have it open. No, we don't do that. But you know why we don't do that? Because it's only three hours to get to this point on the second time. And this clutch is a thousand euros. So I'm going to run this clutch until it's completely wasted before I replace it. You can see the rust in here too. See how red this is? Wherever you have red rust, it's a friction rust. It's called by minute movements between the two steel components. And that's causing this kind of a rust. And that's all I have to fix. I'm quite happy that I was able to take this baby out all by myself. So you guys gotta give me some credit here. That's Waldo's world quality, I would say. Yeah, this is now going up. Okay. Wow, look at this. It's a dumb idea. It looks like a pretty dumb thing to do. I am assuming it's gonna fall down the pit. You put wood here underneath. Okay, this is how the old Romans build all kinds of stuff. Do you want me to help you? Uh, no, 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 you are good. <laughs> this is a man's job. <laughs> and I have to use my strong arm to do that. The problem is I don't have a strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely stupid anyway. How about that? Yeah, and now what? Uh, I think it still don't fit. <laughs> I raised it up just as high as the guy in the video. <laughs> I don't think so. You should have taken off that bracket and everything don't, would be fine. I don't think so. I mean, those bolts, they are the problem. Why didn't you just take that thing off? Now you're telling me. <laughs> yes, they are. Why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> because you were mean to me and I left. But that's extra work again. We gotta take that bracket off if that's what the wife is saying. Yeah, but how are we gonna get it off? Just like the road has got stuff off. What do you think is that, 13? No, 15. 13? Ash. Okay. Why didn't you tell me this before? So that was like the easiest job and it was my idea. It's always the best okay. part. 
Well, at least it didn't fall into the pit. <laughs> and at least it didn't roll on this connector because I got this piece of wood in between. And well, I'm just glad it's a challenge. Look, I made this bracket here. I know the discovery rolling around here. I got a three-point plan to fix everything. First, we got this guy not sure. And he has the highest IQ. And he's going to fix all our problems. I got a three-point plan to fix everything. Bring it down, Number one, we got this guy not sure. Number two, he's got a higher IQ than any man alive. And number three, he's going to fix everything. I give you my word as president. Instead of putting on what Mopa recommends here, this general purpose crease, we're not going to put that on. I mean, we over here in Germany, we're going to put this on in a very, very light coating. Now listen to the technical data of this stuff. Just, just listen to it. It's temperature resistant from minus 180 to 1350 degrees Celsius. Ha. Pressure resistant to up to 2400 kilo pound per square centimeter. Resistant against water, oil, petrol, and against most acids and acalics. Will not rub off, wash off, or burn. And here comes the most important thing. Highly resistant to galvanic corrosion. That's what we got here. Special alloyed metal collodial lubricant. And then extremely low coefficient of friction. It should say extremely low friction coefficient. This stuff is just the right thing. This is made for splines under extremely high load, what they use in, in mining equipment. I just made this up. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. if you swallow so, it, you're going to die. Yeah, so that's my President Camacho plan, and that's going to fix all our problems. <laughs> Okay, I know everyone shits emotional right now. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, I understand everyone shits emotional right now, but listen up. Oh, what did you do now? Uh, I just pushed this in and now we're gonna have to purge it for like half a year, <laughs> 200 strokes. What does that mean? Perch it means we're gonna have to actuate the clutch like 200 times because I was stupid enough to push this in. We got a three-point plan to fix everything. <laughs> we got this guy not sure and he's the smartest man. He's, he's got the highest IQ of everybody. So what can happen here? President Camacho said it. And I'm not gonna go to Friday night rehabilitation. No way. And we got no technological differences either so what we're gonna have to do is put this stuff on here in a very very light coating i would put a really thick coating on no it. no because it's gonna fly away what and it's flying um it gets into the clutch so it's very important that this is only a very light coating <laughs> this is perfect this is, I mean, President Camacho could not have done this any better. Very light coating. And I mean, just this technical data is, is, it speaks for itself. Okay. And it's not for Mercedes. It's out of Switzerland. Metal Flux UK LTD. Okay. <laughs> so that's so, always good. And there's a phone number. 02392 so Nobody it, needs to know and that. And it says made in Switzerland. This is like the Swiss clock of... This This is the Swiss army knife of lubricants. Oh, army knife, exactly. It's President Camacho personally recommended this. So you can see how this stuff kind of dries. It comes out with a solvent and the solvent then evaporates and then it leaves this fine texture. And that texture is not going to come off. It's, Did you even explain what our problem was uh, or is? Yeah, I think I did, but I don't know if I find this in all my footage again. <laughs>
If okay. not, um, we're going to fix something without having a problem. That's <laughs> not a problem either. See here, I got an assortment of brushes, which I'm going to use to brush out the splines all the way into the, um, into the sparing. Okay, so this is important to get all that dust out because that dust's going to bind up that nice... Well, do you want a dust brush? ...present yeah, Camacho fine. lubricant. She made a fire <laughs> right in our driveway because it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, so you happy now? Yes. So what we got to do is clean out the splines in here to make sure this red dust is all gone. I want to brush in some of this stuff. Light coating. There. A nice light coating. Beautiful. You know, there's so many people struggling with this. And nobody asked President Camacho what to do. You know, this is pretty nice because here I fix the car and here we make lunch. So what are you making? I'm making chili today in my new Dutch oven. Oh, very nice. Brand new. So this one is hard to get to. So I have a really short socket extension here. And Vera found it for me. So this one is 29 Newton meters. In case you don't know how to grease something. So we put some grease on them here. See, it has like a little around it where the yeah. water collects and then it sits there for days. This is why they're so rusty. but it is in. Pull it.
Take, take it out of gear. Good. Yeah. Put it back into gear. Working? Okay. No. Good. Take it out of gear. Almost done. I know I tell you that already since two days, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's really almost done. Okay, so that gotta be the last one. And that's the last bolt here. I don't see it. I have to spend an entirely nice weekend in the garage with a stupid challenger. The challenger isn't stupid. It's really stupid. It's broken. And now it's fixed. Muffler is back on. No rattling. Good, we're done. What are you doing in my car? Oh look, I even got a jumper cable. Yeah. We should check all the ground cables on the Discovery because I'm sure that is actually the problem. You know? That's a good idea. A messed up ground cable was... Okay. So we're gonna mix dot 3 with our brand new dot 4. We googled this it and Google you, said no this problem. This is what you get when you send a woman to buy something, okay? You get enough brake fluid for the next 10 years. Yes, because you bought the cheapo brake fluid. Yeah, you bought the Chinese brake. version of brake fluid. Okay. I got the right stuff. I don't see anything. Me neither. Okay, watch your... Gotta close it. It's done. We gotta get it off the check stands. I don't like that either. I raise it on the cross member. Never raise it on the differential. You got it out? Yeah. Okay, don't go behind the car. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That chop is down. Beautiful American quality. It just doesn't get any better, okay? So if you look from there to there, it's within an eighth of an inch. And here, look. That's good quality. Good US quality, okay? And that's actually done in Canada. It's assembled. Really? Yeah, it's assembled in Canada. So, Not in so Mexico. It isn't really Hank's fault. Yeah, it's... Yeah? <laughs> no, not here. Come over here. Yeah, show you a nice spot. See this here? No. Wait. That, that, so every morning you leave, you have to push this back in. So it, it matches nicely, okay? When you come back home, it's back out. So you push it back in and it's good. And it's not on it's the It's really Amazon. nearly maintenance-free. You can get this car new for $38,000 and that's sure an achievement. I'm going to stop the camera now. I can't test drive the car now because it is not licensed at the moment but let's see if I can get it into gear oh Turn the light on okay oh oh this is so much better look at this 
it is going into gear like nothing. This is so much better. So I think that was it. That service bulletin was correct. It shifts so nice now. So I can't test drive it, but I'm pretty sure it's done. So, okay. We got this work on the Challenger completed and now we can get back onto Discovery Projects. If you made it all the way to over here, thank you for watching a video about fixing the Challenger. We really appreciate that. So I don't know if you already noticed, for those of you who asked me, we uploaded all our 3D printable models to thingiverse.com. Um, and my account name there is LR Time. LR Space Time. That's really it, right? Yeah. We got nothing else to say. We yeah. wasted enough of your time. If you really like this video, think about subscribing. And as always, if you're subscribed, don't unsubscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. And remember, if you haven't watched Idiocracy, yes, you got to do that. You got to okay? do that. Okay, <laughs> you got to do that. You got to watch Idiocracy. That movie is so true.